Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about at home and the road and adventure life from our book Lift Off. Let's start with completing paragraphs from A to F with the verbs in the box. We have become, coat, done, eaten, flowing, gone, made and written, it's already done. So we are going to talk about beer grills, okay? Let's start A. Abbas and Adam have written about the Scott chef in Britain, Beer Grills. B. Beer Grills' sister gave him the name Beer when he was a baby. It has become his official name. C. Beer has done many difficult and dangerous things and has gone to some of the world's most remote places. So, number two and three and four, the answers are become, done, and gone. Let's continue. D. He has caught and has eaten animals, insects, and fish for food in deserts and at sea. E. He has flown a balloon 7,600 meters up into the sky. He has climbed the world's tallest mountain. F. He has made serv several programs and has become popular with TV viewers around the world. So, the answers are coat, eaten, flown, and made. Number eight. What is the main idea? What do you think? Of course, the main idea here, it's about this man who is traveling all uh, uh, all around the world and had did many things okay the new vocabulary adventures willing to take risks become begin to be chef a leader of ruler of a people insect a small animal that has six legs and generally one or two pairs of wings meeting an assembly of people for a particular purpose Official, it means an authority or public body and its activities. Remote, it's distant. Scout, it's a soldier sent out ahead of main force to gather information about enemy. Survival, the state of continuing to live. Viewer, a person who looks at something. Let's spell some of the words. Meeting, adventure, insect. survival and official now we have ever and never how can we use them have you ever and i have never mean in your or my whole life so this is the meaning of ever or i have never so something like in the whole your life we use them with the present perfect all the time never comes as negative in the sentence so you can not put negative which means not in the sentence with them ever usually comes in questions so usually they are coming in questions i have never been in london have you ever traveled to india so these are the usage of never and ever answer the questions about yourself explain your answers number one have you ever gone on the hedge for example some of the boys or the girls, they may say, no, never, but I would like to. And others may say, yes, I have. And you can explain your answers, like what happened there? How did you do it? And this, this stuff. Number two, have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have been once. Or I went with my family to, for example, um, to London or to America or to Venezuela or whatever. All the answers are acceptable because it's about yourself, okay? So when you are talking about yourself, sometimes if someone asks you general questions, then you can give some explanation of your answers. Write a list of five adventures, things you would like to do in the future. For you, like what are the adventures, things that you are thinking to do? Some of the students may say, I want to go all around the world. Others may say, I just want to go, for example, to Alaska or something like that. For example, here I wrote, in the future, I would like to travel around the world and I want to study abroad because I want to live a new experience. So all of us, we knowing that studying abroad will give you more experience and it's completely an adventure to live outside of your country.
So for today, we learned about reading, the main idea of it, the new vocabulary, spelling and meaning, present perfect, the never and ever, would like to, and the possible future events. Thank you for listening.